All right, so I think it was 2010, uh, Mary Mary put out a book called Be You. Um, be honest, be beautiful, be intentional, be strong, be you. And um, it was a collection of us taking pieces of our songs uh, and sharing with them our experience and, and you know, letting you, the, letting you know the scripture that it has come from and just encouraging people's hearts. It was a really great book. It's still on Amazon if you if you care to pick that up. Um, so in this chapter, uh, the scripture, Hebrews 8 and 12 says, I will be merciful toward their iniquities or their sins, and I will remember their sins no more. Um, there are so many things in life that we'd like to forget. Bad hair days, bad clothes, bad boyfriends, bad arguments, bad heartaches, bad choices. But if we never experience any hurt or regret, how do we learn the life lessons we know today? I've shared many regrettable yesterdays, but today I am grateful for a God who redeems my past, restores my soul. I can't be held hostage to my yesterdays. I've been set free. Uh, I'm sure you know the lyrics to yesterday I've cried. I decided that I cried my last year yesterday. And I think the part that, that blesses me the most is I decided that I cried my last year yesterday. Now let Griff tell it I'm a tomboy. And I tell myself, yeah, we're going to cry for a good week and then we over it. I've never been the kind that cries for months and months and years and years. And they did this to me back in the 12th grade and in college they said this. And, you know, I just don't replay it that way. It is literally a decision. You choose deliverance. You choose freedom. You choose joy. And then you go after it with everything that you have. It is not automatic because the enemy doesn't want you to have it. So there is no way on God's green earth that you're going to sit there and, and recovery is just going to fall in your lap. It's not. You've got to work for it. Whether you want to release something that you've done or forgive something, someone for something they've done, or maybe you're dealing with addiction or whatever your struggle is and you're trying to get to a place of freedom. You've got to make a decision in your mind and in your heart of what you're going to do and how you're going to move forward. And then you've got to make sure that you don't lie to yourself. And what do I mean when I say lie to myself? You know what I mean. Oh, I'm going to pray and you don't pray. Oh, I'm going to study the word and you don't study. Oh, I'm going to start this uh, new thing and I'm going to start this new thing to make sure that I move to a better place. And you never do it. You never put the work into place. You've got to do the work. Getting free and leaving pain and issues in yesterday is not automatic. It takes work, but you can do it. When those thoughts come to your mind, you have to attack the, the thought immediately. This is not what we're doing today. I'm releasing this. I'm free from this. I'm over this. God has delivered me. The scripture says he'll remember my iniquity no more. He'll remember my transgression. He'll remember my sin no more. And so allow yourself to be free. Don't walk in shame for what you've done, but don't walk in pain from what's been done to you. Get to a place of freedom. It is possible. I'm telling you, I know because I've been there. I've had to be forgiven and I've had to forgive and I've seen how God has worked it in my life, but I knew my responsibility. I knew what I had to do. I knew what I had to say. I knew the work. I knew the fasting and the praying. I knew the separating myself from certain people and things. I knew that I, I couldn't listen to certain songs at certain times because they would take me back to a, a thing, a, a mindset that was, that was dangerous for me. And so I've done the work, right? And so I want you to know that it is possible to leave it in yesterday. And I know that's an old song, but you really can't leave it in yesterday, all right? That is my faith walk for today.